satisfaction. I don't know how to describe the adrenaline pumping feeling that you get actually at live at the moment of world beast classic. It's like there's something in the air, the energy in the air, the anxiety, the excitement, the it, it, it's impossible to live it through watching this video and, and unless you're there and you feel the air and you taste the energy and oh my god, it is it is one of the most exciting things in nature that can be witnessed. So this is actually a crossing over the Mara River from Masai Mara National Reserve to the Mara Triangle. And it was at Lookout Point. And thanks to my driver, Henry Mawani, who actually took the film while I was taking pictures. And the, the migration it, it is, is, is amazing. There's huge herds. And when you're driving through and you see these huge herds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of animals, and their, their sounds and their talking and their communication, and it, it's just amazing. It's referred to by so many people as the eighth wonder of the world. And having lived it multiple times, I, I, I definitely understand why. And I'm while you're watching this video as I'm recording this audio, and now I'm seeing that there actually was a crocodile there. But anyway, um, so it's, it's referred to as the eighth, eighth national order of the world, and, and I get it. It's, it's amazing. And the, these animals are so driven to rocks, and you can just feel the, the mix of emotions that they lead to cross the fear. Because these, these crossings are really dangerous. There's huge Nile crocodiles, there's lions on the other side, animals get treated. They drown, they can't get up the other side. Sometimes they're jumping off the cliffs because the drive across is so huge. I've never seen that thing done. But, you know, just watching, um, this crossing lasted about 15 minutes. And just watching them and looking at them and looking at them jumping in. And, and sometimes they get scared and they run back above off the cliffs. And it, it's just, it's just a, it's just a place. And I'm going to shut up now so you guys can watch this and, and look for the jumping ones and, and look at the behavior and how, like, like here they're, they're all coming down in the same place, but now they're starting to run off towards the top of the screen and come in down in a different place. It's like, why? I, I don't get it, but enjoy. the river um, starts taking them down the river a little bit and they and they sometimes really struggle in this case we didn't see anybody drown which was which was really a, a, such a relief to me again you know your heart's pumping you're you're praying that they're all safe and that they make it and To catch a crossing, um, 
we actually waited about six and a half hours. The wildebeest um, were gathering up and, and, and we could feel the pressure building. Um, but again, it's so, it's so scary. So we, we waited in the sun and the heat um, for six and a half hours. We did make a quick dash back to the lodge uh, to get something to, to throw over the, the roof hatch so we'd have a little shade and to grab a really quick bite of lunch. And we raced back and it, it was a risk, but we, it, it was worth it. And um, we didn't miss the crossing. But a lot of times, you know, you see these videos and, and you don't realize how long people are sitting and waiting. Sometimes you get lucky, but um, sometimes you can wait all day in the heat and the sun and they don't cross. Um, so it's, it's really just the luck. Did you see that guy back there all the way in the back? Man, he caught some air. This crossing lasted over 15 minutes. The video started several minutes into the crossing already, and the video ends before the crossing is fi finished. So there's some lulls, and then it starts again, and then there's some lulls, and then it starts again. The audio that you're hearing right now, and the pictures that you're seeing right now, are some of the still pictures I took during um, the crossing. And then the audio is from after the crossing, after everybody who wanted to cross or who was going to cross, crossed. And what happens is the family groups get separated and there's some on one side of the river and some on the other and they start calling and screaming back and forth to each other and that's what you're hearing now is some of that and some of just the chaos as the family groups are looking for each other. Um, a few of the wildebeest did cross back um, trying to hook up with their family members um, but it's, it is heartbreaking uh, to hear it. I, I didn't record all of it um, but just a little bit more of a taste of what it's like to be at a crossing.